Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here from Big Luke Large Gaming. And today we are going to be doing a video on, um, well, it's not going to be on Super Mario Odyssey. It's going to be gameplay of it. And as you can see right now, uh, the screen can focus. Riley is playing Odyssey, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to talk about the Nintendo universe, because I've found a way to fit every game they have ma ever made into the universe. All right, so let's begin. So the story begins around, I'd say like 2100, 2110. Oh, where most of us will all be dead by then. I know, depressing to think about, right? But basically, what's going to happen is all of the, um, the whole Earth, all of, all the humans start to go Star Trek and begin migrating up into space. Also, this is my new office. So, so all those people, all those, uh, People are uh, going up into space and colonizing other planets. Now, there are a bunch of humans who hate this idea and and uh, stay behind to, you know, continue the tradition of living on Earth because, the you know, the Earth is still fine. Global warming hasn't happened or anything. And slowly, animals begin to evolve and the inhabit and the remaining humans also begin to live alongside the animals and they begin to just kind of be together and this is animal crossing you know where they make like a whole new living but that's not all especially for another group of humans that basically shunned the people who just wanted to settle down uh, and went for a more medieval lifestyle over on, over in a whole other part of the world in a Hyrule. Their new kingdom they created. And I guess that's what happened. I mean, I know there's this whole Zelda timeline, and that could be, and here's my theory, I think everything besides Goddess Hylia just came from the people um just slowly developing a religion over time that overtook everything hylia though i think hi in my opinion hylia is really um truly there because she is canonically there in breath of the wild so that's where i think that she lives, I mean, not lives, but is, and Goddess Hylia has actually been there from the beginning of Earth, and so that's what's up in there. Can you guys even get a decent footage of this? I don't think so. If you can't see the text, I'm sorry, but it's really hard. I should have just made this on the TV, but my dad's playing downstairs, so... So that's really what happens on Earth. So the humans who have decided to go up into space have just suddenly, um, like, just found a planet and they lived there for a while, but then it got destroyed by some kind of force which caused Olimar to go looking for a new planet or at least I think... That's what happened in Pikmin. At least that's what I remember. It's been a really long time, but if that's what happened, that's what I think is right. So after that, they find they find planets and they start to colonize it again, and they they form you know the whole federation and everything, and they discover Metroids and you know what's coming, Metroid. Uh, Metroid uh, comes into play, and so. Yeah, now all the humans have gone completely sci-fi, and and everybody back on Earth is still living a happy life, 
and yeah, you know, in the world uh, around around this time, I think back on Earth, uh, Breath of the Wild happened. Um, because this is a really long time. It's been a really long time. I I may sound like it's a very small amount of time that all of this is happening, but it's really not. It's a very long time apart that these games are happening. So the whole Pikmin series happens. I really don't know what happens in them. I'll probably, I probably gotta look that up or watch it or, or whatever, because seriously, I've heard that it's, um, a really good series, but unfortunately I have not played it, so yeah, that's basically what's happening there. Metroid, all the Metroid stuff happens, and now we're going on to different worlds and planets. So on what I would call the Mushroom Planet, um, where the Mushroom Kingdom is, uh, Everybody in Mario's world is living happy until Bowser comes along and, you know, starts wrecking everything like he does. He changed, he massacred the entire mushroom population back to a very small amount and all of them are bricks. And I believe that he massacred them so much that they are still... Uh, recuperating to this day, 30 years later, the bow the damage that Bowser did was never repaired on the world. So, yeah, that's what that's what's kind of been happening over on the Mushroom World. So now we're kind of going into extraterrestrial beings. It's a kind of like a fact of um. What? Oh, boy. And, uh, it's more like a, um, more like a bunch of entities are coming to the planets, and I'm sorry that this is horrible footage for the video. It's just, yeah, yeah you shouldn't really watch this gameplay. So, really, what is happening is the whole... The whole gist of it is that on a bunch of different planets, crap is happening really badly. So, over on planet Popstar, uh, Kirby is happening, and King DDD is uh, becoming a good guy and a bad guy and getting possessed a lot. And so, we, and so Kirby has to go stop. Uh, King DDD from whatever the heck he is doing most of the time. And that's what kind of happens most of the time. Sorry, I'm, I'm concentrating for a second. I want to find the balloon. I can't find it. So, so stuff on Planet Popstar is happening, and that effectively creates Kirby. Now, over now, because of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, this throws the whole thing for an entire loop, because there is no way that in a normal universe that you can just have, like... Mario and Sonic be there, but with the multiverse that I'm theorizing, um, anybody can, any universe, I mean, any, any game can really fit into this because of the world that Nintendo created, and the way I'm realized, uh, realized about this is because I realized that, um, I kind of had to I kind of had to go into, um, and th I had to watch the intro to Kirby Star Allies to actually realize this. I was like, wait a minute, Planet Popstar is a planet in a universe, 
And Mushroom Planet is a planet in the universe. And I thought, wait, all the planets that they visit in Metroid are planets in a universe. So I just decided, hey, wouldn't it be cool if all these guys were in the same universe? And lo and behold, they can be. Now, because of the Archie comics, and I've had a little controversy over this myself, um, that, that Mobius is a post-apocalyptic Earth in the Archie comics, but actually, if you're really just gonna do that, I would say no, because not in the games. Archie comics are fine because they are not canon to the Nintendo universe. Now, the only thing that I'm not including are cameos, and you know what I mean. Cameos that are just like one little time appearances like Yoshi and Metal Gear and what's what's another one? I don't know. Mario in the NES Open Tournament. Sure, they got a costume for it in Odyssey, but that's just fan service. That's not like a real hint as to what is going on. So what I've got to say about um, Sonic's world, Mobius, is that, yes, it's a planet in the universe. Nobody said it wasn't, and the way I'm going to go about this is say that it is very, very close to mushroom, to the mushroom planet, which is, you know, what I'm calling Mario's world, because what do you call it? Not Earth? <laughs> I mean, seriously, there is nothing to call it besides mushroom planet, and plus, mushroom planet sounds like a oddly good uh word for that oh it was probably a moon shard back there but so so over on mobius which is very close to mushroom planet um you know the whole the whole all the events of sonic uh one and two are taking place about the same time as super mario world um is happening so, in there, um, we can't, we can say that because, um, we know that, um, now that Odyssey has come out and we know that the Mushroom people have readily available, um, space travel and from, like, since Sonic, okay, since Sonic 2, we've known that the Mobians, or at least uh, the human-like Mobians, have had space travel. It isn't too fetchy, the, sketchy, or fetchy, or whatever you, fe, is it, is it sketchy or fetchy? Hey, Riley searched for my balloon, is he on? Yay, I'll call him after this. So, what I want to know in this, from, from this, is that, what I want you to know is that this game, I mean, this universe of games is infinite. I mean, you could say that about any place. You know, they have a universe, they could go into this, but the Nintendo universe, except for maybe something like Mass Effect, has such a massive universe, because... I don't know if you realize how far out um, it's gone from just being on Earth and how how normally we go and visit Mushroom Planet or Planet Popstar or um, Zebes. So, really, what you need to know is that everybody who lives in the Mushroom Universe is just... Compl Everybody who lives in the Nintendo universe is not the same planet, is not the same age or or time, because while a lot of this, a lot of them are the same age, they are not truly 
the same, like, age out of, like, all the, of the guy. Oh, they're not all in the same time frame. And you know that because, um, and you know that because obviously you have the humanoid Hylians on a futuristic Earth who shunned the, um, Sheikah tribe, which could have been remnants of their own, um, taking on, uh, taking on, uh, their own take on, <coughs> um, futuristic te technology for, from the Metroid area of the universe, but also parts of other places i'm sorry i'm i'm getting way off track i don't know where i was or what i was trying to convey because i basically conveyed all that i can i don't know if i missed any um major major um nintendo franchises except for like things like like don't tell me about uh xenoblade or Fire Emblem, because I don't even, I haven't even, like, thought about that. I don't, I don't even really care. I just want the main Nintendo games, because technically, if we're going by either the, by either Zelda logic or Metroid logic, they're either on, the both those series are either on another planet or they're somewhere on Earth much farther in the future, which it wouldn't be much of a stretch for the Zelda theory because, you know, kingdoms. It could be in the same world as Hyrule, you know? So just don't think about this or that. Just think about the space aspect of this. This is Nintendo going sci-fi. Is what I'm thinking. Now, technically, if you think about it, they already have because Mario has gone to space already. Uh, the mushroom people have been shown to have uh, airships that can go to space. And it wouldn't be much of a stretch if you soon had a Mario game that not only took place on Mushroom Planet but also on in space or on another planet. Like, if you had a legitimate game that wasn't just um, the Olympics that Mario and Sonic had a crossover, it was like... <laughs> which, I know it's stupid because it's never going to happen because, you know, they make... They, an Olymp there's an Olympics every two years, so... <sighs> they've got enough full with that as as ever, and you just saw my official moon count, 719. Yes, I play this game a lot. Um, and, see, it's just hard. It's hard to crack this, because I want to believe that the Nintendo universe is all one. It's just all one universe. But there are some things I can't ignore like the fact that there are all these um thing that there are all these uh series that just either can't exist, don't exist, or just are out in the middle of space because you because um there are Mario cameos in Zelda. I mean, in okay, yeah, I think there are Mario cameos in Zelda. I, no, there are Mario, okay, there may be, I don't know. There are Mario cameos in Kirby, there are Mario cameos in Metroid, I think. So, and, and so, it's just not a stretch that, that maybe there will be a game that's a crossover between the two, between the, um, worlds, or between a bunch of different series, and, you know, there's Mario Kart, but st Still, that's only really okay. Okay, it's not. It's not that. That's basically 
saying that the Nintendo multiverse exists. Mario Kart is saying, hey, you're right. <laughs> it exists. So, yeah, that's my theory on the Nintendo multiverse. It's tiring to listen to me babble on for so long, but if you want to show your support for the channel, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe if you do that, I'll make some more of these, because I really enjoy just talking to you guys while playing a game. I'll try to get a better quality, um, better quality conditions for this, and I know I went on for a really long time compared to my, compared to other things I do, so just, just please forgive me for that. I, I just, this was a really big topic. I thought of it today, and then I just suddenly got just over-the-top excited about doing a video on it. So I was like, hey, why don't you, why don't I just do a video on it? So I did, and that's what you just watched. So I guess that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And this is Brandon from Big Big Larger Huge Gaming, signing out. Goodbye.